Uh, this kind of a public message to, uh, it is a public message for all you guys to show some love here and let's, let's uh, work on something here. Casey Stratton's mother contacted me. I'm working on a video for you. Um, um, I'm talking to her now. I'm working on a video for you. It's quite a lot of editing for your message. And it's going to have the content to show to direct people or specifically maybe your lawyers could start working on a certain angle and all the family's lawyers could start working on it. We, uh, so I'll, I'll take a different um, uh, approach with that in mind to show you where you should start hunting. I'll, maybe I'll do some of that hunting. Maybe a lot of my viewers will help do the hunting. The hunting we need to find is, uh, just so you guys know that in the video I'm dealing with special inspector. Uh, it's a long edit. I'm still working on it. Um, and the short version of it is that they work for the city. They get they they hold the they work for the city at that point. And they were also I don't think they they give up their license. They still do it as a private professional, but working for the city. Um, it's well, it's part of my video. I can't. I don't want to put it in this all that in this video right now, but it's going to help with the with the attorneys and processing the data and what to what to grab hold of. This is also in the uh, videos this Saturday. This is going to have a, a very critical details in it. Um, hmm. So I won't be referring to Casey Stratton as the model any further. Mother does not uh, want to, wants to refer to her as Casey Stratton. Casey. And I will. I was just keeping her a little bit um, private because of the... Uh, the um and until the request came the request came and i did the same thing with the uh coll the, the building uh collapse in um in louisiana the uh yeah my brain's a little bit frozen now the hard rock hotel collapse i left the person's name out until a family member contacted me well family members contacted me to you know to talk about that that's their their loved one there and that they were supportive of me actually, you know, being more direct with their, you know, making it more personal. And so we're going to make it more personal with Casey. And we're going to talk about the rental agreement that we would love to see, and the rental agreement and the laws of Surfside. We're going to dive into that. That should the disclosure been put out there? Should a disclosure have been put out there about the condition of the building on rental? You go to rent a, prop, rent a property, you assume that it's safe. Now, th we're going to dive into that. I just want you guys to get this is a short version, uh, to give a little love out to the mom there and the family, the surviving family members, and we're going we're gonna to go from there. So show some compassion now, and I'm going to not talk. Uh, I, I'm going to dive into a lot of things, and it's going to talk about the survivor's mentality and and how I would not have been a survivor again, because make it clear to you, I would not have survived. Casey Stratton was, would, would, be, would be me. I would be on the phone texting people saying, look what I see out here. Check this out. I went to rent. And look at this place. This place is caving in. I would have been trying to send text messages. 1.30 in the morning, I might have called a couple of people. Nick, I might have called you since your time would have woken you up. Um, so I would have been like Casey Stratton, but maybe she was getting more data to try to figure out what to do. Me, I would have been first making a joke of it and then trying to get the data at the same time. Well, that would have resulted in my death. One for making either way, the joke or the third one looking for my keys. I would have uh, never found my keys that easily. Maybe it would have, but I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have run out the building. Even though she was very close to the entrance, doesn't matter. I wouldn't have made it. And she was athletic. And so that's, you know, you, for your daughters uh, to, to help out the other people that were over here and they were older, your daughter was super athletic. So even, with, even if they were athletic, they couldn't make it from there to here. She couldn't make it from here to there. I couldn't make it from there to there once the building started collapsing. So if I was going after nothing, I still couldn't make it out. So the, for the people over here, 
and everywhere else, if this lady couldn't make it, if Casey couldn't make it, then for you people to help the family members, you got to realize that that don't don't torture yourself with what if, you know, what if, because I wouldn't have made it out. Casey's and I are about this shape. Well, I don't have, didn't have a bone body like hers, but anyway, um, Casey couldn't have made it out. I couldn't have made it out if I if I heard the noise. So everyone over here, don't don't worry about it. I mean, don't don't torture yourself. You you couldn't have made it out. If anyone thinks they could have made it out, only reason why six eleven made it out is because well we don't know the full story because she's she, she, I wouldn't say she panicked because she didn't she had fear and she left out of fear. Everyone else, the building stopped rattling and stopped. It came to a stop. This lady at six eleven closed her doors, locked up. She didn't say her door, front, the front door, her porch door may not have been planned to be closed. So we have a, an idea what's shifting in the building. And I'm going to get to that um, for the Casey's mother. I'm going to get to that about, you know, that explains the front being shifted once I realize about her door. But she's being quite cagey with her data. I think she's watching the channel and, and she's adjusting it with, the, with her some of the interview questions. And one of the things I have a question on is, why did you take the stairs? The timeline that she's giving is not coming out good because I don't imagine this lady taking the stairs all the time. Yet I don't hear initially her stating that I, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I didn't find where she says she took the she tried to wait she waited for the elevator, waited for the elevator and waited and waited and then finally said you know what I'll take the stairs. I don't hear her stating that. I didn't find it. I could be wrong. I love to love to be able to take that you know and, and get that corrected data. But how long did she wait for at the elevator before she finally went down the stairs? So you remember I said I can find anyone that's, that's not telling the truth, if you will. Well, it's some of the details you leave behind or don't put in that are also uh, um, tells a different story. You, where's your elevator weight? I don't have the elevator weight unless you have a history of always taking the stairs. I always take the stairs. I always take the stairs. I, I don't see that. It's six floors up. Sorry for that, but I, I let the chips fall where they fall. That one, the 611, is an anomaly um, because she rent, she left out of fear. It's a new place for her, and I think there's more. There, there, that's the version of that. As far as her going to the stairs and making down a few stairs, well, you forgot the, the delay that she had to wait for the elevator. How long did she wait? And why was, she, why was she leaving? To report a crack? To report, where was she going? What, what's, I don't, she, she, she blew out the candles, grabbed a couple of things. It was not a panic situation. Was she, where was, there, where was she going? She didn't say where she was going. Was she going to a car to leave, to go where? Was she going to complain to the front desk? She could have made a phone call on that. Where was she going? Just leaving the building? Um, I, th I, th I got a problem with 611. All right, so 611 makes it out. The boy makes it out because he is either going out on the porch when the building shifts and collapse, or he happens to be about 10 foot in. So when the building shifts, the whole front, the facade, the wall, the glass door falls, misses him. The building's still shifting. It puts him outside the building. If he was inside the building, any part of that building hitting him like that would have uh, would have uh, killed him. So he was either on the porch. We have to be approximately 10 foot in. The shift happened to shift over and put him outside the building like a damn cartoon, if you will. Yes, his mother died. It's terrible. So, but the boy has to realize what happened for him as he, if he's watching the content, the why he, why he, his position happened to save him. All right. Uh, 611 happened to leave. 111, she thought it was an earthquake. She was leaving for an earthquake. Totally understandable. Everyone else, I would have, Everyone else, every everything else here, I, there's not a situation where I would have, where I would have lived besides the boy, by being lucky in the position. Besides the boy's position, no way. Uh, down at 111, uh, earthquake. I'd have to think it was an earthquake for me to get out of the building. You know, you, you don't have earthquake. Uh, uh, Casey believes it's a sinkhole because she has knowledge of sinkholes, obviously in Florida. I would have looked out there and said, the, well, damn, the parking garage left, and that's when I would have started my text messages about 
yo, man, I'm renting this place, man. You believe that? I'm glad I didn't, didn't buy it because we're going to buy. We'll get into that. Not that, that one, a particular unit, different unit. We're going to get into it. And um, the, uh, the, uh, and I'd have, I'm said, I'd have been making fun of it as I died. And I would have never felt it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an immediate death. And I talk about that in the video I'm editing. I won't talk about it in this one. But it's an immediate death. I would not want to be one of the survivors that w died two, three days later because then I'm not left with pain because the pain's going to be dialed off by your brain. But you're left with a mentalness, mental pain of thinking you're going to survive, suffocation. You're hearing things around you, but yet you're getting weaker and you're like, oh my God, you know, you're, you're, you, you, you've got the mental torture. So I would want to be the one of the ones that, because they ultimately all died, right? So I'd want to be the one of the ones that, did not live for three days, I'd be one of, one of the ones that died. If a family member, I would hope that my family member is one of the ones that died and not lived three days because that's the terrible what if these damn clowns there would have worked more aggressively and stopped bragging about they're the best in the world and been more aggressive at getting this stuff, the debris removed. They obviously are not the best in the world or maybe they are the best in the world. The, the world right now sucks at removing debris and they're not practicing enough about how to remove debris, um, de move debris. And they're, what are they practicing on? You know, car removal, moving, moving something from a car that's already, you know, stable? They need to get to, um, it's, uh, some demolition sites and ask, like they practice their fire things, some demolition sites and say, hey, look, can we put a dummies on certain floors? And when you take down your building, the floors, will you allow us, uh, can we remove it? And yes, it costs money. And, but the training should consist of, uh, you know, people around the country coming. And they need to, be, need to um, co-work with demolition companies. Yes, they will have to pay the demolition companies. But if you've got these concrete structures like this, this is going to keep happening. This is not done. This structure... It was never, none of these structures at this design is a stable structure that's going to last forever. It's always sequent equilibrium in a failure state, going towards failure. And that's because you're marrying two materials that don't want to stay married. Concrete and steel do not want to stay married. If they did, well, then they, uh, um, we wouldn't have all the failures. They just don't. The steel wants to go back to its original state. The concrete has its own materials inside of it that want to fight it, the efflorescence and things like that. The... Uh, the steel wants to uh, um, go back to its original elements also based on uh, exposure to air and also the elements, it's the stability of the metal itself uh, depend, depending on the grade. All right, I'm going to end this video and load it up and hopefully, uh, let's please give some love out to, uh, to Casey and her family and yes, George just showed up. And you guys should say hi to George. Hi, George. Georgie. All right. Take care, guys. Uh, so we're sending love out to the Casey family and all these other families. Um, the surviving families. This is uh, more personal. It gets more personal now. Okay, bye.